Youth Voices. Youth Voices live. Make sure you see your name. Um, and young people, we have to keep up. You have to keep up. I don't have a computer to use while we're doing this. All right? So you're watching the board and you're watching your computer. And your continue. phone is going to be in the way today. Even though you'll be able to use your phone to do this work, but right now you need to follow the instruction. So you need your computer and not your phone. All right. All right, Paul, I think we're ready. How are we doing, folks? Welcome, welcome. Um, so I, I'm going to say this at the beginning, and I'm going to say it at the end. Our goal right now is to take every last word that you wrote about the 1619 Project, right, and put it up on Youth Voices as a draft and or to publish it eventually, okay? Um, there are a lot, a lot, a lot of details in between there, but keep in mind that's our goal. Our goal is for you to get your words up on Youth Voices so that we can then turn it into a really amazing blog post that other people want to read and give you responses to. Okay. Um, in the middle of the room, right above my face and right where Michael just went. Michael. Um, it's okay. He, he's, he's off it now. Um, there is there is a Google document. Um, click on that Google document. That gives you, I think, 10 steps. There's actually a video at the end, but just look at the 10 steps for how you post your work on Youth Voices. Okay? If, if you can give me your attention for three more minutes, and I will look, look up, up at the screen, I want to say that there are four picnic tables around this main area. Table A gives you a list of templates that you can use, and I just made a new one, but templates that you can use to revise your work, get it ready for publication. One example of that- Look up, is, everybody. One example of that is that you can, um, oh, so you're looking up, let me go up there. Stay where you are. No, no, we, they can see it. They can see okay. it. I have it on the board. You're good. Take away. So uh, I, let me not go into example there. You can, you can, you, well, look, one example. <laughs> you can take all of the writing you've done and realize that you don't have an introduction. And you can put all the writing into a template and say, give me an introduction. And it'll give you an introduction to your text. You may read it and say, I really don't like the way they said that and change it around a bit, or it'll probably give you too much. You'll want to take just a part of it. But then you could also write a conclusion. You can write transition sentences, lots of things you can do, okay? So there are ideas for some templates you can use there. You may come up with others. Table B is some detail about three things that you need to have up, and you'll find this under uh, post settings. You need to have categories, you need to have tags, and you need to have a featured image. I want you to use the featured image or the way we made a profile image to create a featured image for this post, all right? Again, I'm not going into detail once you know all that information is there. Table C just gives you lots of ideas for how to use ChatGPT for doing this work, okay? And then table... D is, is really kind of more important here. You need to add blocks so that you can add images, audio, and last class made clear that they want to add video as well. So images, audio, and video that you want to add, and you need to learn how to use the block system to do that. There are instructions on that table for how to do that. There's a link to how to record. You may have another way to do it. That's great. Okay, so that's a lot. Any questions so far? Any questions? Okay. I'm worried that there are no questions. <laughs> it's I know. Okay. It's okay. Well, they're quiet right now, right, right now. Okay. 
let's um let me let me show you what you need to do so now you could just sort of follow along yourself okay and then once you get there open up youthvoices.live and then the third tab that you should have open is your writing in your google doc your um, responses to the questions okay i have put up on the screen this let's say this is should my they look up right now paul yeah. look up now ready everybody look up on the board right now this is my google doc the equivalent of my google doc this is my writing before i put it up on youth voices okay i'm going to highlight it all you should do this too right now in your google doc highlight it all and control c or however you copy you're going to copy that go up under select edit select all and copy control c got it now on youth voices after you have logged in it should say your name wall please look up here on the orange Everybody menu, look up. orange menu at the top hover over create and then hit discussion posts and ai you've done this before but i did that fast sorry hover over create click on discussion posts and ai mojo this brings you again both to an edit screen which we haven't used before we're going to use it today and AI Mojo in the upper right hand corner, right? But where it says type forward slash to choose a block, please look left and right. Make sure everyone's on this too. All right, slow down, Paul. Let's go okay. back. Take a couple back steps. All so right. here's what we did. We hovered across the top under over create and we clicked on discussion post and AI Mojo. Then it takes about 15, 20 seconds for this screen to come up. All right. And on this screen, you see add title, which you need to do. And then you need to paste what you copied earlier into this here. Control V or, or however you do it. There may be another way. So don't worry about the title piece yet. Just okay. get your text into youth voices focus on copying from your google doc and pasting onto youth voices and if you have it in more than one place you know copy it from all those places and right and, and combine it all together right here speak up your question um, Paul, what do we say? I, last so, class, I, I said take the questions out, and then Paul said put the questions in. So I here, I have two. I have. Uh, I think your final. It depends on what you've written. Is is really the answer? But your your final blog post, you do not want the questions because you want it to read just like your ideas, right? Um, however, you might keep them for now, and then go back and revise the questions into. Uh, sort of a, an introduction to your writing. Did or that make subtitles, sense? Subtitles, questions, yeah. or subtitles. Or so you might want to copy them there now, but keep in mind you want to get rid of them before the end, or or change them in some way before the end. Another question, Paul. Yeah. No, the revised ones that we worked with from AI Mojo. Thank you. But keep in mind, all oh, it's really checkpoint three, the after. Okay. Remember, we did checkpoint two, checkpoint three. Checkpoint two was before you were introduced to editing and peer review using AI. And checkpoint three was your work, your writing edited through AI. That's what you're using. However, you needed to have read over what AI produced from what you gave it, because you gave it your writing. You told it to do something. Did it do the something correctly for you and to your satisfaction? So I, if I use AI for proofreading and revisions, I'm reading over everything because sometimes AI changes my views 
and perspectives to something that I didn't want to have there at all. So you have to read over what it does. And so this is how you call it collaborative writing. AI isn't doing the work for you. You have to do some work. Question, I can't hear you. How long should what be? I can't hear you. Where All of your questions are generated on there right now. All of your responses are on there right now. So what are you talking about? How long should it be? How long should your responses have been to each question? One to three paragraphs. Okay. So that's what we're working with. Your writing. That you already, you already had how long that should be a long time ago. Yeah, and just because it's a blog post, it can be as long as you want it to be, right? As, so that's that's what I would answer you. I would say it should be as long as you need it to be. <laughs> right, so, and, and so that's why, how yeah. can, you know, how do you want me to answer that question, Justin? You'll see how to do that. All right. Um, Look left and right. Uh, give me a thumbs up somehow verbally or say or yell out if you're not there yet. Everyone has text in the box here on the left side. Everybody, Amaya, you should really be up front here, even though I know you don't have any writing. Um, you want to add a title at this point? You want to make it a come read me title? So a spicy title, uh, a good title that not it's not a it's not a title for a teacher to turn in. This is a title for other young people like yourself. You want to get their attention. How are you going to get their attention? And also say something about your piece. Um, and there's some advice about five words. I, I'll say five to ten. <laughs> yeah, no, five, no, I'm not saying yeah. that. Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, so the you need is up here. Number one is a title. It has to be five words or less. But Paul, show them the generation, uh, how to generate it through the question, what you showed the other class. Okay. Because they can lift those five words from that AI generation. So here's the deal. I'm opening, uh, look up at the screen for a second. Many times you on, on to be wall, working. Put some phones down. I'm I'm in the upper right hand corner. I'm opening AI Mojo. Put your phone down. I'm going to templates, which is the second tab over. And quick word on templates. Um, one of the templates is grammar and and uh, punctuation, right? If you if you typed in here grammar and punctuation, it would check a paragraph at a time all of your grammar in that paragraph and your punctuation. Um, all right. Oh, what, why do it here as opposed to chat GPT, which you could also do it on is because I have set something called the, um, temperature to be zero on that so that it does a very careful job. It doesn't make up a lot of new words. So it, so just, just to know that the templates are designed to help you as a writer Whereas ChatGPT is just like a, a fire hose. Of, it, it all comes at you, okay? So just to say, that's why we design these templates. So one of the templates you could look up is if you type in the word question and then find burning questions in search of a solution. So everybody can do this now. Do this now because you each need a title for your post. So follow along, please type in questions. This is what we did. We opened up AI Mojo. We went to the second tab templates. And in this first box, we typed the word question. And we came up with burning questions in search of a solution. I'm going to the bottom of all of my text. I'm clicking the last block down at the last paragraph there. And then I'm hitting this little light blue plus sign. And I'm finding where it says, sorry, I got to move this thing. 
find it where it says, uh, I can't move it. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Where it says, uh, insert everything from the top until the selected block. I hit that, and my whole, you can also just copy and paste it in there. All right, so your whole text is here. Then you hit generate. It reads, quote unquote, reads the text. And it gives me a question that it thinks I'm asking. Okay, notice all my language there. <laughs> it may be wrong. But um, it, right. it, it asked me, how is it possible to integrate generative AI into online discussion platforms like now coming? Now That's it's right. reading his writing, but it's going to read your writing. Right. All right. And so what questions did it generate? And what five words do you think you can add? Do you think you should add to your writing that will pull a reader in to read your work? And it may be in the solutions too. I like this build an AI profile page. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Possible to create an AI profile. So AI this, doesn't do everything for you. You have to do a lot still using AI. In fact, you may have to do more work for you, and then that's that. All right. So uh, please get a title up here. So, for example, I'm going to use this integrate generative AI into online discussions like now comment, but I got to put a capital I to use generative AI into Now, you know your title can only be five words or less. One, two, three, four. four. And, and what I've explained to Paul, that's my journalism background, because really it's a headline. How do you pull your reader in in order to get them to read what it is you wrote? Headlines do it when you talk about news. Even you all with TikTok and stuff, people are using this stuff. Journalism rules in social media now. All right, um, this is doing it for you automatically, but I want, it, I want you to notice that you should, at this point, when you have a title and when you have all your text in, you should hit save draft. It's in, not save the top, draft. not the right corner, but at the top toward the right, it says save draft, or it may be in the process of saving right now, which it will say saving. So please be saving your draft there. So every once in a while, go up and check to make sure it's saved. All right. Um, if you get it finished today, you hit publish, and that's all good. Before you publish, and this is on a picnic table. I mentioned it earlier, but I just clicked on this gear box. Please look up at this point. Look up for a minute, everybody. So AI Mojo is open like this. Upper right-hand corner, you can toggle to settings and then hit post. And this gives you three things, categories, tags, and then a featured image. Your featured image should be a AI created Dolly image, just the way you did a profile. Okay. But about your, about your topic. Did our profile fix. Okay. A, lot, a few details there. We can go back to them. Um, I can I can fix some of those if you kind of get them wrong first time through. Um, that's okay, but I can't do anything about your text. So make sure you're spending time today making your text as good as you can. Using AI when you want to use it. Okay. Um, remember, there is a grammar and punctuation checker that you can, I would use, do it for every paragraph. Yeah, uh, for, yeah. So AI does better if you feed it less text than more text. So even myself, when I use it as a proofreader of my writing, I typically don't do more than two sentences, but my sentences are very complex versus what your writing is. But three to four sentences is a good marker for AI because you have to read it because sometimes it changes your meaning. 
Sometimes it changes the purpose of your writing, the, its perspective. So you have to read everything it produces to be sure that it's following along with the purpose of your writing. Okay, last thing to look up for, and then we can just work and kind it's of get a question. going. It's a question, Paul. Okay, go ahead. Did anybody hear him? Where where do you find the what? Where do you find the generator? The AI mojo? So top right corner, it looks like a, a, a uh, look up uh, Jeffrey. Top right corner, it looks like a game controller. Ask the person next to you, maybe they don't know too. Um, there are tabs at the top. The templates tab is what you probably want to be using. Aaliyah and Amen, you all have it. You can help Jeffrey, please. Thank you. And I want to talk about blocks whenever you think we're ready. Question. Um, are we assigning a picture to our writing? Say that again. Are we assigning a picture, like an AI generated picture, to our writing? Yes, it's called a featured image. And you, when you go to settings, I'm doing it right now. If you go to, there's a little okay. gearbox top. If you scroll down, yours isn't as complicated as mine. So you'll find where it says featured image. You go out to AI, create the image, right? Um, you can use the same template as we use where you fill three things in, foreground, background, um, style. And, right, you can find that, you, you'll find it, I think. Yeah, so. And then, and then you go to Dolly and create the image and then you put it up here. So um, all the elements that you are going to need to satisfy your benchmark are here. You're working with your writing first, all right? Then you need a title, five words or less. You're going to use the tags, gender lit and SLA at Bieber, just the way they are written, all right? Just this way. You have to use the at sign, the uh, uppercase two, I think that is, shift two. Then you need an audio block. You're going to have a lot of different choices. Paul is about to show you that. How to add audio to your post. And you need an image. Now, I have on the board one. You're only required to have one audio piece, one image. If you'd like to have more, I'd keep it on the image side if you want more and not the audio side of more. One is enough for audio or video, all right? But for image, you can add a couple. I wouldn't go over more than three. So I said one if you want. I should put on the board, but no more than three images, okay? All right. So... as quickly as I can, I want to show you about blocks. Okay. And this is, uh, this is about managing a blog post on WordPress. Okay. So you're learning WordPress right now. You may know it already, but if you don't, so I have, um, here's my title. Here's my first paragraph is generated. Please look up. At the end of my first paragraph, I'm going to put the cursor and I'm going to press enter. And something comes up that says type forward slash. That's that line there to choose a block. I could just type a new paragraph there, right? Or I can choose a new block. There are three ways to do it. The easiest way is while your cursor is there, go up to the plus sign where it says toggle block inserter. 
It's a blue square, top left corner. Okay. And then I'm going to search for image. Look up, everybody. So I'm going to click on the image block. And notice it comes in. Let me close this. So now there's my first paragraph. Next thing comes up is an image block. I can upload an image and it'll come right in here. And then I can do whatever I need to with the image. All right? Paul, question. Yes. So what's the difference between the process you're doing now and, um, and going to put your image? And going to what? Feature image. Like when you go to the so website. the difference is this, good question. This puts an image inside your text, right? The featured image puts it above your text, and you don't even see it here, right? Okay, but you'll see it once you publish it. I got one more question, too. I know you was, like, in the process of doing something, but I was going to ask you, like, um, as a reader, like, talking about you, what draws you to, like, the first thing that draws you to a, a reader. What's the first thing that draws a reader to what? I was asking you, like, like at you as a reader personally, like I was asking you what draws you well, to the reader. So there are two things. There's the headline, and then and then there is the image. So that featured image is going to be really important, right? Yeah. So and then, but then if I want, but then when I open it up and I see that there is here. There are three more things to think about then. Um, you want to have headings. You want to have subheadings. Um, when I look at a post and it has subheadings and I can scan through the whole thing fast, that, that draws me in. If it has audio there, that's going to draw me in. It has other images there. So, yeah. Yeah, because the subheadings let you know this is what this section of the writing is all about. Do I want to interact in? Because like um, Justin is saying, you know, Justin is probably looking at his writing saying, wow, I, I have a lot. Or if I don't have much, most people will read it. But if I have a lot, how am I going to draw people in to the different subsections of the writing? So um, two more things, maybe two. Um, about blocks, your subheadings. Notice here, let me just go back. Now I'm on my second paragraph. And let's say there's a subheading right above my third paragraph. I press enter. I can press either the back or the forward slash and get the word headings. Okay. And I can put that in there. And then that gives me sort of a subheadline for the next section. So that's one way to get headings in. Phone, Sarah. Your phone's not helping you, man. I'm going. I'm going to do this one more time. Let's say I want to put audio right here, right after that paragraph. I go. I find where it says type to choose a block. There are three ways to do it. I can use a forward slash. There's one over here on the right. The easiest way is to go to the top, toggle block inserter. This time I'm going to type the word audio and I'm going to put an audio block in here. I've downloaded an, an MP3 file to my computer. Maybe you've recorded it on your phone. On the picnic table, table D, I have a link to something called online recorder, which is an easy way to record. Um, you then upload it. You right, you hit upload and it goes to your desktop and you can upload your audio there. Okay. Uh, Mr. Mr. Paul. Yeah. Uh, so like I don't know if like I missed this part, but like what was what should the audio piece be about? Or, like, oh no, I it to it that part. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. But Paul, you want to give him some suggestions? I Look, um, the, the most obvious thing to do is find a section that you think is, is really exciting from all of your writing and record that section. Um, maybe you've 
but maybe you've written a poem about this too and that's not here yet it's really kind of up to you where you want the audio to be and what you want it to be okay. is that does that fit with uh miss bentham's intention yeah. here yeah so could it like generally be anything but as long as it relates to it has to relate to your writing or the work that we've been doing but it can be as obvious as just reading what's there too that's okay right like a pull out i would read everything but i would do a pull out yes and paul talk about they can you can do that part even on your phone like if you wanted to have a musical background and read and and read a piece of what it is that you have now the reason why i don't really give you examples because the sky is the limit you are creating something brand spanking new we are dancing in a playground like we're in the rain with no shoes on our feet and the weather is perfect that's what we're doing and let me let me push it one one more th i want you to understand blocks because video um Image and audio are not the only two. There are dozens and dozens of blocks. But people have wanted to use a video here. You can get a video block. Again, go to toggle, search for video. If if it's if it's a YouTube, you can actually get a YouTube block. There um, and the last thing I'll say for this is if you get the embed code somewhere. You can search for HTML. Some of you will know this. And that will give you a block where you can paste your embed code and your video will come there. Okay? So the two things that we're, I think, requiring or asking you to do is audio and image. And if you want to mess around with some of those other blocks, Go for it. Does that sound right? Does it sound? Okay. Okay. Remember, under before you hit publish, under settings, you'll see there's a uh, checklist. Um, and the checklist under posts asks you to get categories, tags, and a featured image. The tags need to be gen lit, gender lit, sorry, gender lit all one word, and then all one word, SLA, the at sign, Beaver. You need those two tags. All right, go work. And I'm here to ask, for you to ask questions. I don't yeah, want so to, you speak I don't up, want ask any you. questions you want. Mm -hmm. I'm here, I'm just, yeah. Y'all know the new HVAC systems are running in my room and, and they're loud. But they're keeping us alive, so that's a good thing. Okay, we we think we 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 survive in the school district of Philadelphia. We're not exactly sure. <laughs> I Our understand. HVAC I systems are hanging from the ceilings. I get, I get it. I get, uh, Question. So come up, come up, and then, or can you help? Her? Okay. What do you do? Are you lost, or are you on top? On the computer. It's all up there. And I'm here too. <laughs> Ask questions. Happy to. Talk.
That I wanted to what? To shorten us. Shorten us. Um, so Paul was saying no. I was saying so. What's your expectation of reading? Well, well, I think I mean personally, people my age, like we have short attention spans. So I think I should short. If I don't want to do that. That's not what you. Want. No, it's fine. Okay. That's what you want. That's right. Here's here's here. Just the uh, just the other side of that to consider. The way you the way online the way you get your ranking high on Google is by using the keywords from your and you can search for keywords and get the keywords, but getting the keywords from your text into your title, right? Um, but which means the titles end up being a little bit longer than five. No. But okay, <laughs> okay. Um, let me just, uh, if you want to look up, I, I just created this and I'm testing it with somebody from the last class and her title was Gender, History, Literature, and You, which is kind of like the name of the class, right? So, or the- um, like That's this section of it because- This section, okay, yeah. So, you know, I would say that's not a come read me title Right. So I created a template and if you type to go for templates and you type and you type the word to search for title, you'll come up with one. Turn my title into a come read me headline. Um, but I just want to warn you that um, it'll give you some that you love and some you don't. They, it turned this one into uncover gender history and literature. Expand your mind with you. Right, what? Right. But and. Uh, but I did like I did like this one kind of discover your passion maybe not no this one discover how gender history and literature transform you oh that's nice that's not bad right but maybe I just want maybe I want to change this and say let me just take transform you 
and say with gender history, I, you, right? So it'll that template will give you some ideas and some bad ones too. <laughs> so taking you all the way back because uh, we came in at the meeting link, you came into a table that gives you five different sections on how to interact with your text, with images, your uh, AI generated image and your audio in a youth voices post. All the way back, that's what's at the picnic table. If you click into that link at any time, you can go straight to that table and find instructions. What we're doing is giving it to you um, in audio form. You hear Paul's voice, you hear my voice, and then you can also see where, what to do here in the class. If you had to do review, you have to go back to that table where we first started because all the instructions that Paul is giving today is posted on that table in that particular room. And all you have to do is click day three meeting link to get there. You, if you're in um, Kumo space, you're already there. It's on Canvas. Oh, all right. Okay. I got another question. So I uh, just kind of, you was talking about how uh, GBT kind of, or the AIs kind of change your language or whatever. And like, yeah, so like, uh, in your thoughts, like when we was like writing notes and all that, like you kind of, you didn't really hold back with what you said because it's like your own like thinking space. <laughs> so like now that I'm like reading over it and I'm like posting it, like some of the stuff, like I didn't know if I wanted so that's why you have to read what it generates because you can delete it you can delete it or you can tell ai what to do with your writing in order to get what you want so what instruction would you give to somebody about the writing that you did in order for it to filter or censor like a lot of your personal feeling or vulgar language or, you know, sentiments that may not, be, you know, public. You want to make it public commentary, okay? So you have to tell AI that. So you can pull those sections out and put it in the AI generator, but you have to tell it what to do. I would say most often when I'm using AI, it gives me an idea and then I just do it myself. So for example, if I take my whole post and I ask it to give me an introduction to the post, I see what AI gives me and then I say, you know what? I get what you're trying to do there, but I can do it better. And yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it myself, All right? Yeah. But it gives me the idea, it gives me the sort of form that I need for it, okay? So stay with your voice. Yeah, stay, because your voice is more powerful than any computer computer generated voice ever in the world. Well, so far. <laughs> and no, and yeah, because what AI is doing, I don't even know if you notice how our phones do it, which I'm noticing certain people's names in my phone, the Siri will say it all whack. But about the fifth time, Siri is saying the name like I say it. <laughs> wow. So I I noticed that even with my phone. So questions, thoughts, I, I want to go back to the very simple thing I started at the beginning. The most important, I can do a lot of this for you in the background if you get your text up, everything you want to say on Youth Voices and save it as a draft. Give me a good title so I know that you've done that. And I can put in the categories, I can give you your tags. I can't give you an image, but I can send you a note to say hey put an image up here right so um get off your phone what i what right. i what i cannot do is i cannot make a recording of your voice <laughs> i can right i can even edit some of your text but only if it's there so please get your text up in there and save it save the draft mason you have a question 
Excuse me? Are you explaining the audio block plugin? Yes. Okay, he heard you. Um, it's, but also, it's at, there is a link to audio blocks um, on the D table. So if, if what I'm saying doesn't help, let me know. Um, let me I, right now. I come to a paragraph and I want to put a, let's say I want to put it, I want to put it above this paragraph that says it is important for doctors to recognize the ways. Okay. Um, I'm going to press enter. A, so, well, yeah. I may have to go here and say insert before. There we go. So I get this type to choose a block here. I'm not showing this very well, but here we go. Okay. So I want to do, so here's my choose, choose a block. Type the forward slash to choose a block. Toggle the block inserter. This may not be your question, but it's worth reviewing. And I go to audio and click on audio. Now, let's say you have a SoundCloud file. You could actually use a SoundCloud block and put the SoundCloud file in there, right? Or if you had a Mixcloud or a Spotify. Um, I don't think we okay. can put Spotify in the district, so I don't want Spotify. Okay, but there are, there are options. Um, we're going to put audio in. We click the box here. It, it pops this box here. We then upload. That goes to my desktop and right. So if you, the other thing though is if you made a SoundCloud file, um, you would need to download it to your desktop and then upload it here for the audio block to work, right? Just like we did the images, we had to save the images on our computers first. And then we uploaded them on to voice. Now, if you're using your phone and you record something, you have to like either send that to your email or somehow get it to your computer. If you send it to your email, then you can download it from your email when you get to school. So that's an idea to do a recording on your phone and then get it here. Um, it is possible to do, if you can figure it out, it's possible to do it, anything on Youth Voices as long as you're using your Chrome browser works the same as it works here. So you can do that at home too on your phone, but you can do it on your computer. Huh? Did, did that, oh, and how to record. I think the easiest way to record online is this thing called online recorder. And there's a link to it on table D. You open that up, you say yes to the computer, you hit record, and then when you save it, it saves it as an MP3, and it's real easy to upload. So that's the easiest way to do it on a computer. Did that answer your question? Sorry. We can't hear you. Yeah. Okay. All right, who else has a question? So each of these elements are required for your benchmark. How you do it is up to you. You answer? must have a title, five words or less, mm -hmm. to use with your writing. All of this is with your writing. Where did your writing come from? Your question responses from the 1619 Project docu series. You have to use tags, gender link and SLA at Beaver, and the at sign must be the uh, shift two. You must have at least, no, you must have only one audio block. So something of sound must be included on your post. Some sort of sound mechanism or the audio sound could be video, all right? And then you must have one image, at least one image, but it could be up to three. It could be one, no more than three. I need to write that. Um, 
And I just want to I just want to point out that uh, if you go to the don't go there, but if you want to look up very fast, you'll see one, two, three, four, five. You'll see a dozen schools throughout the country. Right. This one in Salt Lake City, this one in Brooklyn, this one in New Jersey, this one in Philadelphia, the U school. Yours, yours is here, too. Right. When you click on. I have to move something to be able to do this. Sorry. When you click on SLA Beaver, that's going to come up to a page, and that's where all of your posts are going to be, right? I think there's one there already, right? So your posts are going to be here, and so that's how this is going to work. They'll be on the home page, so people will be able to find it, but we'll let people know, hey, SLA Beaver's on the block. Go check out their stuff, okay? Um, that rocket is the old rocket too. Is that you want to change it? We can change it. Yeah, it needs to be the updated rocket. Okay. I just went online. So I yeah. Know. Thank you. Send you should send me. Or I'll I'll. I'll, I, I'll. I, I do have it. or ask Mary Beth for it. She can. That's good. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Um, I'm going to all post right now to see who is working in here right now and see some of your titles. So yeah, he can, he can see uh, everything that you're doing online. So I'll know who's doing the work and who doesn't. But you know, ultimately on the 22nd, when this is due at the AM and it shuts down in the PM, ultimately the benchmark is due. This is your benchmark, young people. So if you want to act as if you can't do this and not ask questions, you have the problem. Because here we are. I'm, I'm pinch hitting. Paul is helping me it's on this platform. And I'm pinch hitting. So, Jeffrey, just, I'm just going to use you as an example, if you don't mind. Uh, I'm testing. I'm testing this out. So here's the title you gave Jeffrey's 19, 1619 project ready. Let's see if we we put in turn my title into a come read me headline. Yes, come read me, Jeffrey. Maybe somebody if if somebody's in love with Jeffrey, they'll want to read it. I'm sure. Ain't nobody in love with Jeffrey. God, I'll tell you that right now. Miss Bentoon and his mother. That's the bottom line. And his daddy, brother, and sister. That's the huh? All right. So I'm generating. I'm trying to see what kind of uh, title oh, that I come up with here. I didn't hear you. All right. Here's what they came up with. First one was uncovering. How about this? Uncovering the hidden history of Black Americans, Jeffrey's 1619 project reveals triumphs and adversary adversities. <laughs> That's pretty wild. Yeah, it can, it's generate it generated all this text. I I actually think what's in the front here though, uncovering the hidden history of Black Americans, is not bad. Right? That's dope. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm going to do it again and. Um, you all have heard how AI gives you the next word, next word, next word. Yes. What, you, what you also need to understand is it goes out and it, it makes a list of all of the possible next words it could be. Mm. And it selects those next words totally arbitrarily, right? It doesn't, it doesn't think about which one to choose. So that's why sometimes it's stupid and sometimes it's smart. And you have to you have to know that and keep asking it to give me another version, give me another version, give me another version until you get the smart version. Right? Yeah. Okay. Unearth that's not bad though. Unearthing the long hidden legacy of, of American slavery. Does that fit what you said? Maybe, yeah, I don't know. Jeff, yeah, I think it was a certain paragraph. Which which question did you put in there to generate that? I, I put his just his title. But no, you talk, 
No, no, you didn't. To give Jeffrey's thing, you put his title in there to get Jeffrey's 1519 project ready. Yep. Okay. It didn't do bad. No, it, it didn't. Unearthing the long hair. It generated all that from your title. Yep. I'll do it one more time. He's doing it one more time again, and I can't hear you, Jeffrey. He said, he said, is he supposed to see it on his too? No, on, on, up on the board. No, no, I'm, I'm not. You're going to have to ch make the changes yourself, yeah. This is not bad either, examining 400 years of African-American enslavement's influence on you. So maybe that one's too academic, too long, right? Yes, sir. All right, so... So that's just to, just to say, think about audience as you're doing this. You may need to rewrite something. And I'm kind of going back and checking some other. Did, was there a question also? No, it was, it was just an answer. When we're done, you must have published it. Like, um, you say draft first. Because you have a couple of days that Paul and I are going to. If, I think by work. done, does, does she mean, I think it was she. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, he, he can look over yours even in same draft. So I, I can see it either way. Yeah. That's Amani. It does Amani. It doesn't matter. You can publish if you want. But I. It, I Do you have your image? Oh, she yeah. has your image. Do you have an audio piece? Oh, well, she yeah, published, babe. Go for it. Yeah. Here's the other thing, and I barely mentioned this. If I did, you have to have a um tag not tag you have to have a category called showcase for it to publish but even after it's published you can still edit it so that's why i was saying it didn't matter too much either way but what showcase you can take her to that step right now so showcase brings it to the front page she got it By the way, I'm on the front page. There's a, a bunch of eighth graders who are publishing this week also using AI. Okay. And this is her. Oh, the the I'll find it. I'll find it. But this is this is their what they're writing about. Why people like soft things. <laughs> Which is a good question if you think about it. But <laughs> yeah, it is. But um, for what, eighth grade. Worth pointing out, um, you're, what we want you to do is go in there and start talking to these people, too. So, for example, This America on Trial is by somebody over at the U School. So the reason we want you to get your stuff up there is so that they start talking to you and you start talking to them. Um, and as far as what just came up, I'll look for it. I don't see Amani's yet. Yeah, go ahead and publish. Yeah. She just did it, sir. She just did it. So okay, I'll refresh. Oh, he's on his phone right now. So yeah, all of us go off when I'm. I was checking when. Are we done at ten thirty or? Oh. Yes. Oh yeah. All right, make sure you escape, escape from Google space, log out of the room. But you can always go back in and out of there to there find help. There's Remembering the Past Through Critical Conversations. Nice title. Oh, nice title. Oh, look, there's that. That's cool. Ah, ooh. What's the video? That's the love. Love versus Virginia. Loving or love versus Virginia. Yeah, it's love, the couple. Uh-huh. Wow. Oh, that is nice, Amani, so far. I wonder what, I'm going to have to look into the video a little bit, but 
Yeah, cool. But that's great. Yeah, well, it makes the sound. Uh, I'm not. Okay. All right. She'll work it out all right. Well, right down right there and ask Paul. He, the right, microphone sorry. is right there. Sit down What's on up? the side. Don't come. Jeffrey has a question. I'm listening. Hello? Yeah, here we come. The, um, the tag thing doesn't let me type into it. Yeah. Um, so, at, at all? Um. As I'm pressing on it, it pops so, up. It's no tags. So what I want to say, given how short time we have, is don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. But um, I'll sometimes sometimes it's just a browser issue, and you just have to try to hit enter and, and wait for it to come up. Yeah. But you'll see. I'll, I'll take care of it in, in short. Okay. What um, other question, Jeffrey? And how do I like insert like audio into this again? So, are you seeing the screen right now? Uh, yeah. So, you, you download the audio somewhere, right? And then you, to, to your computer, and then you use this blue button top right, top left. Yeah. And you search for the, use the word audio, and you click on that, and then this, this block comes here and then you upload and it goes to your computer to upload the audio. Wait, which block again? Um, it's in the top left corner. Yeah. Blue. And you search for audio. And then you choose the, that one that looks like a little note. Yeah. Okay. And, and if you find table D in Kuma space, there's a link to um, how to use audio on WordPress there if you, if you need more information. Okay. Let me get this out of her post. Oh, this was YouTube. Oh, and then I could just find a link from something and it'll let me. Um, a link for audio. Yeah, if I like go like say Ooh. I go on like, YouTube or something, and then I find. So, like, the, um, so I'm putting the I so here. Because it says insert from URL. Yes. So oh. if you get if you get the embed code from like us from somewhere. You can use the HTML code to do that. Let me just. Uh, so I'm, I'm doing that right now. Um, so I started typing HTML. It gives you a tiny box here. And I'm going to paste in. I just, I got the embed code from YouTube. And there it is, right? So once you get used to using the blocks, I think it'll make sense to you. But if you if you like put up a link and you want it to be embedded, I can I can help you do that as long as I know what the link is. Right? So trying to figure out how to do a, like, uh... Okay. I just copied an embed code from YouTube. What do I do next again? Um, um, yeah. Okay. Into an HTML code? Uh, I just copied, like, I just went to YouTube and I copied it. Okay. So 
if I, I'm going to edit this post again. Right there on the mic. No, but it's for you. It's um, where we decide where you want to put it. Uh, I want to put it into the picture. Into the picture. What do you mean? Because, huh? Like, is there where, like the the photo that I have? Is there where I, I just put the music in the background? Uh, put it. Put it somewhere. Like, you choose a question because now choose a paragraph to put it under. You're right. Um, okay. um, and Paul, Amani just brought up for me that she only added that video, but does she need a front page image? And I'm saying yes. So the video won't work as the front page image. No, I'm putting it up right now. That's her. So, that's her front page image. Amani, I selected you the have a front page image. I'm sorry, Jeffrey. What? Um, so I selected my first paragraph. You like that front page? Okay, so you press enter before it. Oh, you did. Yeah, I press enter. You did before, it three uh, times, and that's when it came. No, it did. So so that's an AI-generated um, image, and it looks like it came right out of a newspaper or magazine, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you press enter. I'm doing it right now with you. You press enter. It's, I press enter. Yeah. Yeah, because this is my advisory. You see where it says type? I see. Okay. Yeah. See, um, now you need to put the cursor right next to the word type, and yeah. then then go up to the blue square in the top left. Yeah. And search for HTML. It'll say custom HTML. Yeah. And then you want to paste the embed code there. Okay. I'll paste it. All right. If you want to go to pre, if you go to preview, you can see it probably. Um. Yes. Yeah, okay. And there, can I just publish from there? You can. Yes. Okay. But you have to have a featured image before it, before it goes up. But you can publish, and we can work on the featured image. Or you have one already? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Wait, and then how do I do the uh, tag again? Um, let me remove that so it doesn't go there. So um, there is a settings gear. It looks like a gear, top right corner. Yeah. And then I come down, and I find... You're not the first person to complain about this, so I'm not sure why it's happening, but oh, I gotta go to post. But you should be able to, I'm gonna delete, should be able to go right in the box, click in it, and then type SLA at Beaver. And it should, and, and then press enter until it pops up. And then type gender. I just typed, I just, um, like what I did, I went to the tags versus add new tags. I mean, add new tag. I typed in SLA at Beaver, press enter, and now it's in a box of the X next to it. Right. So that's good. And then, and then go to the next one. You want, what was it, gender lit? It only lets me do one. Uh, Wait, oh, never mind, never mind. You got it? Oh, gender lit. Yeah, I got enough. Okay. And they start popping up down below. You see the most used. If that happens, you can click on it. But, okay. But then how do I get the um how do I get the tags into the um into that's the... all you... when you hit publish it'll go in automatically. Yeah. Oh okay. And the categories you want the category to be um you want to choose a category, uh, but you want to choose um, showcase, S H O W C A S E, and that that's what puts it on the front page. Okay. And then I can just publish it from there. Yep. And if you got anything wrong, I'll fix it, and we'll it'll it'll go up properly. Oh. But 
Dude, why is there um a red X next to feature image? Um, do you have the featured image up? Uh, yeah, it's on the um, it's right uh under the um writer. Um, okay, wait. That would suggest you don't have. So I'm, I'm back here again where with the settings. Make sure you find. You see this featured image here. Yeah. Make sure you find featured image on the right side and you upload the image there. Um, is it in um the block tab? No, this is oh, oh, I see. settings. Mm, I see it now. Oh. Okay. Oh, did I have to download? Oh, I have to download the image first. Oh, I have to download the image first. I'll put the image into my um right. Right, instead. right. So you could, if if you, you did this through AI, the image. Um. Yeah. Okay. So it'll still be. So here's what you can. It'll still be if you open the AI. Um, AI Mojo, it'll probably still be there. Let me see. In Dolly. Yes, yeah, still there. Okay, so in the upper left, upper right hand corner, mm -hmm. there's an icon for saving it to the library. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. That. And then go back to the settings. And then when it go back to post. And then where it says featured image, instead of uploading, you're going to go to the media library and find it there. And then set featured image. Yep. Okay. And then you should be able to post. Okay. Uh, publish. So Jeffrey, yeah. really, really happy to help you with this. Uh, you got to help. You got to help somebody else now, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, 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 you we heard pass, him, uh, we, Jeff. We pass it on one at a time, kind of thing. Okay, Jeff. So you get to help somebody else too with that. Cool, here it is. Love your image. Mm -hmm. KS. Cool. Cool, cool. A couple of few things I'll do there. Like I'll take the, you don't want the image there twice. I'll, I'll, I'll take that off, but that's okay. Great. Good job. Uh, thank you. All right. Thank you, Paul. I'll see you this afternoon, I guess. Yes, absolutely. Talk to you.